one of those subjects that a lot of people feel overwhelmed and intimidated by uh, for a couple different reasons. They don't necessarily have a grid or have a, a foundation of what they believe, and there's a lot of different opinions out there about end times. And so I think a lot of Christians, especially new believers, have an interest in it, but then are a little intimidated by it, so they wanna kind of stay away from it in general. I think you know, one of the things all Christians believe is that Jesus will return physically, visibly to the earth at the end of this age. Everybody agrees on that. But then all of the other stuff, the timing, the procession, uh, the progression, of how those events are gonna take place is confusing to a lot of people. And so what I would say for every new believer, my advice to you is get a firm foundation on the Bible first, just in general. Because we don't go to the Bible specifically to study end times, but as we read the Bible, which is God's grand story from creation to new creation, and everything in between, there are, there are about five major themes throughout the Bible. There's creation, there's fall, there is law, there's the coming of Messiah, and then there's grace, and then there's consummation. There's the end of the age, new creation. And so we wanna have a firm foundation on the whole story of God's redemption, the whole story of the Bible. The more you dig into this book and read it and have a firm grip of it, you are going to be uh, confronted with all of those big stories that are in there. And one of them that you're gonna see from Genesis all the way through the end of the book is God's promises about the future. And so that's where you start. I would say start with just getting a firm grip on the Bible. And that may sound simple to you, but a lot of mistakes that people make regarding end times is a result of them maybe only having a firm grip on the New Testament, not the Old Testament. But if you, you can't really read the book of Revelation, by the way, these chairs are the most slippery chairs I've ever sat on. It's like wicker, I'm sliding back, I'm sliding forward. Um, you, you, you can't really read the book of Revelation without having an understanding of the Old Testament because probably 60% of the book of Revelation is a quote out of the Old Testament. And if you've never read the Old Testament or not really wrestled with it, it won't make any sense to you. And so I would say build a knowledge base on just Bible knowledge in general. Then start with uh, just some easy introductory things uh, that you can, you can begin to go through your Bible again, highlight the things that stand out to you as speaking about the end of the age. One of the things that you could do and this sounds self-aggrandizing, but... I actually uh, wrote it down. To did you already do it? Yeah, yeah. Is, uh, I, I taught an eight-week series, uh, a class, actually, that's available on LeeCummings.com if you go there. I think it's called uh, The Return of Jesus and the End of the Age or The Last Days. So I cover a lot of bases. Uh, I would recommend you start there. Um, be careful when you jump on Amazon or on YouTube because it is a wild, wild west out there when it comes to Bible prophecy. Some of it's really good. Some of it's not so great. Uh, my mentor, uh, Jimmy Evans, one of our overseers, has a ministry called Tipping Point. Uh, Tippingpoint.com or endtimes.com has some really good stuff on there as well. And, uh, and filter everything and realize that with all end times material out there, you have to eat the chicken, spit out the bones. Because we know a lot from God's word and then there is a lot that we speculate on that we are our best guesses or our best inferences. And so don't, what I would not recommend you do is go and buy the Left Behind book series as a Theology 101. <laughs> now that's Tim LaHaye's fictional depiction of what he thinks it could look like, but so many people have watched those movies or have read those books, and to them, it's like the 67th through the 81st books of the Bible, and volume, I don't know how many volumes he has to the Left Behind series, but like they add it into the canon. Don't do that. Just recognize that some of that is people's best guesses. Yeah.